So in this activity, uh, students are given uh, several sets of uh, squares, and they're asked to create triangles using the side lengths of the squares as the size of the triangle. Uh, the first one is done for them, uh, but as you, you can see, they go to the next one, and they have uh, three squares, and they have to make uh, a triangle out of them. And they just do that by manipulating them so that uh, the sides form a triangle. And they don't have to be perfect, but they should be uh, as close as they can get. If the squares go off the screen, that's not a big deal. Um, and they're actually made in, in three sets, or sorry, two sets. The first set has three sets of squares in it. And the second set has three sets of squares in it. And so as you go through, or as the students go through, I should say, uh, they uh, create their triangles and that's all we have them do at first is create the triangles from one page to the other and once they do that uh, they should hopefully see a pattern in how they're uh, created so this is the last set and this is definitely going to go off screen when you do this one but when they do they've got their in total six sets of triangles that are created and then the first thing we have them do is look back and what do you notice about the three triangles hopefully what they'll notice is that uh, in group one two and three the triangles are, are nothing special uh, about them but in the last three groups four five and six they produce right angle triangles. And that's the first thing we're, we're having them look at there. Uh, and they can, they can write about it or talk about it here on this slide. Uh, the next thing that we have them do is really the connection to Pythagorean theorem. So we want them to calculate the area of the square, of each square in each uh, of the slides. So when they go back to the first one, um, they're gonna calculate the area, whether they have to specifically just count squares or they can recognize this is a 10 by 10 or 100. This is 12 by 12, 144. And this one is 5 by 5 or 25. And you do that for each of the sets of triangles. And then the hope is that you ask students to see if there's any connections between the areas in the last three uh, sets and the first three sets. So hopefully what you've let kids discover is that the area of the smaller squares, uh, in this case 64 plus 225, uh, equals the area of the larger square, uh, 289, in uh, the last three sets. So in group 5, you get that the sum of the two smaller squares equals the area of the larger square. Same with in group 4, but you should they should see that those areas don't add up in group three, group two, or group one. And in that way, have discovered the Pythagorean relationship.